Hi there guys, Mashcraft here. Welcome to episode, I think, 6 or 7. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Okay. Of Dwarfcraft Infinity. We have John on the server again. And we are in the deep dark. I got the quarry going. Apparently they don't work unless they are at Y level 124 or lower. And we were at level 250 something. So that's why it wasn't working. But we found, uh... We tried digging down to 124, which is about right there. And that was too low. I mean, that was too high for this area. So uh, we just came all the way down here. I'm going to start recording here. Hey uh, guys, uh, it's John here. We're here with uh, Michael, and we're in the deep dark. We had, it was, uh, he was working on that while I was working on the mob spawner, and uh, he's got this quarry going. Uh, and we found this thing, whatever it is. It looks like a dungeon or something like that. Yeah, and that's actually what we're going to be doing this episode, is exploring that dungeon thing right there. So, uh, John, are you ready to go? Michael, can you hear uh, the other some people screaming? Yeah, I can. Okay. Not too big of a deal, but let's get this moving. Huh. We'll just continue moving along, killing creepers into all of Oh, you're heading over there. there. Yeah, I was getting some cobblestone. You're worried about cobblestone when we have a quarry in the deep dark. I just don't like all this, th these little bumps. I don't, I don't like them. Alright. I will explore this myself, then. No, no I'm, I'm coming. I'm right behind you. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. You think we could like? Okay, we have a spider spawner here. Hey, John, do you have your gravity gun with you? Yeah. All right. You want me to put like a thing at the beginning? No, just move this chest out from underneath the uh, spider spawner. Hey, M Michael, can you hear that? What? It sounds like a vacuum cleaner or something. Yeah, kinda. Oh gosh. Oh, dude, we're finding miscraft stuff now. I'm just gonna I'm take just gonna the leave, iron. I'm just gonna leave everything in there. Here. We'll come back for the miscraft stuff. And I need to. Oh, I need to organize my hot bar. Brought my chisel. <laughs> okay, we have a skeleton spawner over here. Let me get my uh, gravity gun or not gravity portal gun out. Can you like break blocks in this or? Uh, I think we can, but I just don't want to break any of the spawners. Oh, well, can I just, like... We have a Thaumonomicon from Thaumcraft. I'm going to take that. Some Iridium. And yeah, this stone. I'm going to take all that. Now, you think in that Thaumonomicon, it uh, tells you how to slow down the, uh... John! Taint? Crikey! Uh, I'm sorry, Michael. I'm just kind of... You're concerned... Has gone noticed, but too noticed. Oh, colored stone bricks, that's pretty neat. Uh, so, I'm just gonna clear out this area. Not gonna break the spawners. We have all kinds of different colored wood and stone in here, it's kinda nice looking. Like, I thought it was just the lighting, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. Huh. It's really easy to get lost in here, too, though. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of clearing things out. Ah, torches. Michael, do you have a hatchet on you? Yeah, I do. Okay. Whoa, that is major lag that just happened right there. So, uh... Oh, wow, spiders now. There are so many things in here. Got a single use safari net, some mine carts and stuff. Not really worried about any of that right now. Don't bother taking those single use things. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you want me to take these dimlets? What are they? They're for, uh, hold on. Zombie attack. Uh, they're for RF tools. Oh gosh. Uh, I don't know if you should. Creepers. Take those or not. I've never seen them before. 
They've been in every single ch chest that we found. Oh. Probably not then. Alright. Because they all, they're, they all say unknown, so... Dimlet researcher, maybe, uh... I don't know. Oh. What mod are they from? RF tools. Oh. You just said that. Yeah. Is that like, have you ever used that mod before? I don't think so, but maybe. Wow, there's there's a lot of doors in here that go to nowhere. Yeah, that's why I wish I would have brought my hatchet. Wait, I can just make make an axe. Think more so iridium. Michael, uh. Oh, it's just yeah, stuff. A sealed notebook from Miscraft. What can I even do with that? I'm just gonna put it away for now. Eventually, I will be back in here. I'm sure for all of these things, but until then, it will remain here. If I actually need it, I know where to find it. This is quite the interesting looking place, though. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Like, I've only gone through... I'm almost done going through the second floor, I think. <sighs> Creeper just... All these things are just, like, coming up on me. So I'm like, hey, you wanna die today? I'm really liking how there's a whole bunch of iridium down here, though, because we do need a lot of it. What, what's iridium used for? It's so that we can make the quantum suit. Oh. Nice. Now can you fly with that? No, you need the gravity chest plate for that, which takes even more iridium and other stuff. Ah. Uh. I can't find my way out of here. Well, there it is. Break some blocks, Michael. I don't want to do that. Oh, well, there's a ladder here. You're on the uh, second floor? I'm on the third floor now. Okay, well, I'm going to head up to the fourth floor then. Ooh, three diamonds. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. If you find any iridium at all, grab it, because I'm going to take that. Oh. Found some tin. Probably don't need that. Oh, are these iridium shards? Is that what you want? Yeah, that too. Oh, got some ender process. You know, I'm just going to take everything that's in here. And then break the chest. And... Just take the chest. Michael, do you have magnet mode on? I do. Yeah, you probably just got a chest because this chest was kind of... No, I don't have a chest. Mm. Yep, let's break up the floor then. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, I'm going to put a chest at the, on the bottom floor for, like, just junk. Okay. Alright, so, let's see, nothing really good in there. You know, it's kind of crazy how it's kind of a small building, and yet there's so many rooms. <laughs> I mean, of course, most of these rooms are small, but still... I'm just gonna put a few. And it's like as we go further up, it's like the monsters spawn faster and faster. What floor are you are you on now? I'm on the third floor. Oh, you're still on the fourth on the third floor. Yeah. All right, I went downstairs and there's a chest, a uh, double chest downstairs. So if you want to put some junk in that, I haven't been taking any of the junk. All right. Don't like if your inventory fills up. Oh, my inventory is already full. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, take it. Try to take as many chests as you can, and then put them downstairs. And we I mean, I brought to... half a stack of logs with me, so if we need to, I can make more. Oh, can you? Can I have like? Can I have a few of those? Yeah, here. Yeah, I thought these were all uh like. It was the lighting that that was causing this. 
I guess not. I need to use my last stack of torches. Oh, there's uh, torches downstairs in this chest. Alright. I've already used over three stacks of torches in this uh, building. This place just never ends. Come on. And they, and they just randomly come in and out and all these mobs. You remember from uh, the uh, older Direwolf 20 pack that had uh, Xenocraft or whatever it was? Uh, sounds familiar. You remember how it had uh, Soul Shards in it? Yeah. That'd be a really good mod to have right now because then we could have like level 5 spawners. Just from coming through here, we probably have a couple of them. Did you have you like gone through the entire first and second floor? I haven't taken everything. I only took the good stuff. But you already went through and checked everything. Yeah. I'm starting to hear evil sounds, so I'm beginning to believe that there could possibly be a boss or something here. No, I don't think so. Oh, that was just a blitz. Oh. Oh, uh, like I'm on the roof right now. Yeah, it was just a blitz thing. No, that's not that bad. Yeah. Ooh, some dark steel. I need to combine these. I'm going to turn some delete mode on, get rid of the snowballs and all of the junk, and uh, I don't need that. That needs to die. Um, I don't need all this rotten flesh. Don't need zombie brains. That should be good for now. Pile of ashes. What, what do I do with that? You can make coal gray dye. Oh, it can even be fuel. That's interesting. So, John, have you found anything interesting? Uh, not really. Just been mining away. There's nothing really interesting on the roof, either. No. I'd like to find another one of these. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to find one down here either. Considering it's like, uh, super dark and this place is pretty lit up on the outside. Yeah, there are some chests down here for sure. Oh, wow. Let me just, uh, take this iridium. You know what, guys? Uh, I guess I'll. And I right, pause the video here. And, uh, oh, dude, there's a witch well, down here. No, those aren't fun. All right, I'll pause the video here. Dude, I can't believe there was a witch here. Like it's, it's got me poisoned now. Yeah, that's what witches do. <laughs> it isn't nice. No, they're not nice things. I am near death. Must eat food. I don't like how all these things are colored. It kind of makes me feel... Like it makes it feel kind of cramped. Yeah, it does. But it looks better than if it were just like... One Stone bricks color. everywhere. Yeah. As soon as my health recovers, I will be going out here, going back to the quarry, and seeing what other things there are to do around here. I mean, I'd be pretty surprised if this was everything that we could do here. What? What can I do with my iridium shards? Oh, I have to use a compressor. Oh, man. 
Well, guys, I guess we're gonna be getting to industrial craft sooner than I wanted to. But my health like is not wanting to go to industrial craft. No, I do. I just I wanted to save that towards the end whenever we start getting our suits of armor and stuff. Mm. There's a giant slime. Cool. Is that blue a king slime. slime? It's a blue slime. Is that a king blue slime? It was. It was? Yeah, it's dead now. You killed it? Yeah. Did you, what'd you get out of it? I didn't get anything. Well, if it was a king slime, you should've... Like, did, was there a boss bar at the top? No. Okay, then it wasn't a king slime. Oh, I thought it was just like what you called big slime. Oh, no. Alright, so... But with the king slime, we, we need to capture one in a uh, reusable safari net. And then we can put him in the... And the mob spawner and the spawn him because he gives you tools. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, they're slime tools, but I, you know, I'm pretty sure you can like maybe disassemble them. I don't know that much about Tinker's construct. If you have a slime tool and you don't want, like, can you get stuff out of it if if you have the tool? I like, don't know. Can you like break it apart? You know, this quarry is doing pretty good. It's got some beehive stuff. It's got plenty of ores. I'm surprised it actually found some dirt. And it's getting ready to make some obsidian for us. Maybe it's done. I'm gonna break it and replace it. Because if it was done and it actually did dig through the lava, then I'd be impressed, for one. But if not, there's obsidian down there now, and we should be getting some obsidian. And that we are. Well, I accidentally broke a spawner. It was a zombie spawner. But I, it gave me a broken spawner, and it says combine with a powered spawner and an anvil to set the spawn type. What, do you what? Powered spawner. Uh, combine with a powered spawner. Uh. I don't really know much about that. Oh, you have to put a head in there and it'll set which type of spawner it is. Okay, guys, this has been Mastercraft and John signing off. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.